everybody is. And boy, oh, is it a different game watching a 2v2. So we've got the initial strategy. Opening rush is so different in 6v6 because you're watching like the, the individual actions of the team going like, okay, we're going to get our three balls and this is how we're, we're going to start out. And with the recent men's match, we could see there, there's a game of do we go for the ball initially or do we let the other team do it? Do we strike initially and then go for the ball? Um, and what I'm used to seeing often is, is a runner. Uh, that, that someone is going sliding and, and, and maybe being protected by the other person. I think, I'm, and we're underway. So we, we kind of saw what, what we were talking with on the far end. Molenbeek was the runner, but I, unless my eyes deceive me, Sugden was going with ball. And a shot fired, making it 1v1. Sugden two in hand. Since it's wide of target, a reset. Again, wide. Ready and firing and miss. And the great thing, too, is if you're watching 6v6, it's quite the experience trying to find out who has the burden. With three balls, it's quite obvious here that it's on the far end. Right on target, but good ball block. Again, a lot of accuracy coming from the far end. Now Sugden's turn to respond. Preempt to throw and just over that shoulder. This time connecting. First point. So initial outs came quickly, but then this duel that began lasted a while. Nice thing again with fewer balls, and it's a very, very clear who has that burden in and out of the gloves in the Kano. All right, two new people to be squaring up in their 1v1. Right on target, snipes her as she's about to get going. Tied her shoes for her. One one game. So no domination yet either side. And yeah, here we go. This is also new. No outs yet. Kano communicating with the teammates. Okay, who wants to hold the ball on defense? Now ball piece in hand. Fire zero eliminations, even on the counter. But all the balls now with Sagden and Buteau. Missing, they're very close on target, just wide of that shoulder. Quick communication, spreading out as far as they can. First time really seeing some pump fakes here. That's another thing to know. It's amazing just to see how much people's behavior has changed when you do these alterations to you know common formats. Wide of target, you two are doing a great job, not getting greedy fingers. Some play call time now. Do they go on ball? Yes, they do, and only throw one. See, that's the trick, when you, when you throw as a team, you're giving up everything. And that's just what they did, and no limbs yet for the entire set. Okay, now with three balls. And into the gloves of Sugden, way to go. Okay, and she throws it. This is low of target. Good accurate throws, and the late trailer does it. Now 1v1. I think we'd finish the previous set by this point. Sugden squares up. Accurate throw, ably blocked. One minute remaining, set and wide. Stays at the attack zone. And that's a confirmed out, Sugden with the point. 2-1 advantage right now. Probably have enough time for just one final set.
Oh, interesting. Okay, so able to grab that ball without any recourse. Now burden the throw is on Sagden Buto. Taking on team on Amusha. And oh, onto the fingers and out. Sugden delivers the hammer. Ooh, okay. And we have eight seconds remaining, so not enough for a set. So the win is established with that hard throw, the final. Point hasn't been added in yet officially, I see. So we'll make sure that's three to one. Okay. So I'm going to take a small break here. We've got about five minutes before the next one begins.